the income withholding calculator. The income withholding calculator and lump sum calculator are two tools available online that employers can use to calculate child support withholding following federal and state rules. You can access either calculator by navigating to the New York State Child Support website, childsupport.ny.gov, and clicking on the Employer tab at the top of this page, then select Calculator. You can also find answers to some common questions from employers by clicking on the Employer tab and then selecting Employer FAQs. To use the Income Withholding Calculator to determine the amount to withhold from the employee's paycheck, click on Start Calculation or the picture of the calculator. If you need help with using the calculator, there is a video that will walk you through the steps. Just click on calculator video or the picture of the video camera. And to use the lump sum calculator to determine the amount to withhold from a lump sum payment, such as a bonus or a commission, click on lump sum calculator or the picture of the money bag. You can also access the income withholding calculator and the lump sum calculator from the employer page of the child support website you would click on the employer tab and then select employers and you can see the appropriate icons here. So let's take a closer look at the income withholding calculator. Here is the first part of the income withholding calculator which helps you determine the disposable income of your employee. Enter the gross earnings per pay cycle which is the pre-tax amount. Select the appropriate pay cycle from the drop down menu. How often does the employee get paid? Enter the amounts of these six deductions, which are required by New York State law as applicable to the specific employee. Note that not every employee will pay city or local income tax and or involuntary retirement or pension plan payments. The employee may have other deductions not listed here, but those are not considered in this calculation for child support withholding. Click on the disposable income button and the calculator will determine and display the disposable income of your employee. In this case, $674.34. The second part of the income withholding calculator concerns the maximum amount that can be withheld from your employee's pay for support obligations. The Consumer Credit Protection Act, CCPA, is the federal law that limits the amounts of withholding. To determine the withholding limitations, you must select yes or no to indicate whether the date at the top of page one of the income withholding order is on or after August 29th, 2018, and if there are more than 12 weeks of arrears. You can find this information toward the bottom of page one of the income withholding order, as shown here. If you select yes to indicate the income withholding order was issued prior to August 29, 2018, you will also need to select yes or no to indicate whether the employee supports another spouse or child. If you have received other income withholding orders for this employee with different custodial parties and children, this response will be yes. If you don't know whether the employee supports another child or spouse, you can ask the employee. Click on the CCPA and maximum button and the calculator will determine and display the withholding percentage and the maximum amount that can be withheld from each paycheck. In this example, the percentage is 55% and the maximum amount is $370.89. The third part of the income withholding calculator requires you to enter information from the income withholding order about the total amount to withhold. Use the drop down box to select the number of income withholding orders you receive for this employee. In this case, we have two. For each income withholding order, enter the total amount to withhold for your pay cycle. And this is found on page one of the income withholding order. In this case, we have $150 for income withholding one and $271.92 for income withholding order two. Enter the employee's cost for health insurance for the child listed on the order. In this case, it is $80. Click on the Compare to Maximum button. The calculator will determine and display the sum of the total amounts to be withheld for all income withholding orders and the health insurance premium. A pop-up window will indicate the next step. If this sum is less than the maximum withholding amount, 
you can withhold the full amount. If the sum is greater than the maximum withholding amount, the next step will be to prorate the withholdings. In this case, $501.92 is greater than $370.89, the maximum withholding, so we must prorate the amounts to send in. The fourth part of the income withholding calculator concerns the detailed pro rata calculation. In this section of the calculator, you must enter information from the income withholding order about the different support obligations. For example, current support, past due support, and other. Let's walk through the entry of the income withholding order amounts from order information section on page one of the income withholding order and how to convert the order frequency if it does not match the pay cycle. The order information from the first income withholding order can be entered as is. No conversion is necessary as the pay cycle is biweekly and the order is biweekly. Click convert and total the income withholding order one button and the calculator will determine and display the amount to withhold for your pay cycle. This number should match the amount to withhold on page one of the first income withholding order, which is $150. And as we can see here, it matches. The order information from the second income withholding order can be entered as shown for current child support, past due child support, and current spousal support. The other third or fourth party obligation of $15 monthly in this example must be converted to a biweekly payroll frequency. To do this, enter the amount of the other obligation and click on the Convert From drop-down menu. Select Monthly to Biweekly. Click the Convert and Total IWO2 button and the calculator will determine and display the amount to withhold for your pay cycle. This number should match the amount to withhold on page one of the second income withholding order. And as you see, $271.92 matches. Notice how the support amount for the other third or fourth party was converted from $15 monthly to $6.92 biweekly. You will need to repeat these steps for any additional income withholding order you received for the employee and given the custodial parent and child. To complete the pro rata calculation, we must take the following steps. Click on the Total All IWOs button and the calculator will determine and display the amount of each type of support obligation. Click on the Calculate Withholding button and the calculator would determine and display the prorated withholding amounts for each IWO, total, past due, and other. The calculator will also determine and display the amount to withhold for health insurance, the total amount to withhold, and the total amount to remit to the state disbursement unit. If the amount to withhold from health insurance is zero, the employee does not need to provide health coverage as the cost of the current support and cost of health coverage exceeds the withholding limitations. The priority for withholding is current support first, then medical support, and then the amount toward any past due support. If you received multiple IWOs for this employee, withholding is for current support on all IWOs first, and then medical support, and then an amount toward past due support. When the amounts are less than the maximum amount to withhold, again, you will send in the full amount of all IWOs.